Solve the given Bernoulli differential equation, dy over dx plus 6y over x is equal to 3y to the power of 4 over 3. So our first step is to write our equation in this given format. Second, we're going to substitute our v equal to some y to the power of 1 minus n, where n is not equal to 0 or 1. So if we look at this equation, it is already in this format. So our first step is going to be to set our v equal to y to the power of 1 minus 4 over 3 because we are going to set our n equal to 4 over 3. Number 2, we're going to rewrite this in terms of y. So our y is equal to 1 over v to the power of 3. And now we're going to take the derivative. So dy over dx is equal to negative 3 v to the power of 4 dv over dx. So next, we're going to substitute our dy over dx into our dy over dx in our original equation. So this is going to be negative 3 v to the power of 4 dv over dx plus 6 over x and our y is going to be our 1 over v to the power of 3 which is equal to 3 and we're going to do the same thing with this y so it's going to be v to the power of 4. So now we're going to simplify this and this is going to become dv over dx minus 2 over x times by v is equal to negative 1. So if we look closely, this equation is written in this format. dv over dx plus p of x times v is equal to qx. So in order to solve this differential equation, we're going to need to use our, it's a linear first order differential equation, so we're going to use our integrating factor. So in this case, we're going to set our px is equal to negative 2 over x and our qx is equal to negative 1. So our integrating factor is negative 2 over x dx which equals to negative or e to the power of negative 2 ln absolute value x which is equal to x to the power of negative 2. So that's our integrating factor. So now we're going to take our integrating factor and multiply all of these terms by our integrating factor. So we're going to have x to the power of negative 2 multiplied by dv over dx minus 2 over x v equals to negative 1 multiplied by x power of negative 2. And so this is going to simplify to the negative 2 over x, the x to the power of negative 2, which is equal to negative x to the power of negative 2. So now, 
If we look carefully, this side is just a multiplication, so we can rewrite this in terms of two variables, our u and our v. So we can have x to the power of negative 2 times v is equal to negative 1 over x squared. So this is just our u times our dv over dx plus our v times our du over dx. So now this is a simple integral. So we can rewrite this by going x to the power of negative 2 times v is equal to the integral. So we're going to move the d over dx to the right side. And now we can solve. And we're going to get 1 over x plus c. And we can rewrite this and we get v is equal to x plus c times x to the power of 2. And now we can substitute our v back as 1, y is equal to negative 1 third. If you simplify that, that's what it equals, which is also right here. So we can write this in terms of our y. So our y is equal to 1 over x plus c times x to the power of 2, all cubed. And that is our final answer. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.